wait until you see the new promo for the Flex Files. It is hot. Hi, I'm Flex Washington of the Flex Files, and this is my co-host, Rania Roshenko. She's new to this country. I may be new to this country, but I'm not new to sports. Since when do we shoot Croatian girls going wild? Shh. Whether it's baseball, football, or basketball, nobody knows sports balls like Rania. Watch me work it every week on the Flex Files. <laughs> That girl was my idea. <laughs> well, did I tell you, hot? What happened to the promo of the Wii shot? You know, the one with me in it? Well, Matt, actually, I loved it. But couldn't we shorten up the beginning just a little bit? <laughs> Can you believe this, Ace? Back me up here, man. I only have one note. She should be wearing clear heels. <laughs> See, Plex, you're the only one who doesn't like it. All right, everybody, places, please. Don't be angry, Flex. We are just trying to do what is best for my show. My show, The Flex Files. For now. Sometimes at the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody. Dwayne, I need you to help me choose my class ring. Should I go with subtle and understated or, uh-oh, Kobe, what you do now? See, I might not be the guy to ask. My class ring has two years on it, 86 and 87. That's it, Ace. I know it's a good job, but I'm quitting. You ain't getting no ring. If you quit, Flex, what would you do? And more importantly, what would I do? And first they cut me out of my own promo, next they'll be cutting me out of my show. Man, I can't stand by and let that happen. I gotta do something. I gotta do it now. Well, well wait, Daddy, before you do something crazy, can I get $400 for my class ring? I already gave you money for your ring. But I lost it. At the shoe store. <laughs> Brianna, I'm not made out of money. I suggest you tie those shoes around your finger and tell everybody you graduated from Gucci High. <laughs> really expensive. And you're the one who said you wanted me to graduate from high school. It costs. Brianna, you keep telling me you're an adult, so get a job. Yeah, I kind of already did the job thing, and it's not for me. Uh -huh. uh, Dwayne, get her a job down at your place. What? I can't work at a garage. The only thing I know about cars is that they need gas. Ooh, which reminds me, I need some gas money, too. Uh, Brianna, look, you're gonna have to make your own money. I don't know how, but just as long as it doesn't involve fishnet stockings, a pole, and a wad of singles. You know what? This would have been a lot easier if you would have just left your wallet laying around. Oh, man, what am I gonna do about my show? As long as Ronnie's got control of Matt, she's got control of my show. And I'm done. I can't compete with that. Yeah, only thing I can compete with a hot chick is an even hotter chick. Now, maybe if you grow your hair out, you know, shave your legs, put a little rouge on your cheeks. You might have a shot. That's it. Then again, I'm not sure Matt's into ugly transvestites. That's true, Flex. You're a four at best. I mean, not like I ever pictured it, you know. <laughs> no, you idiots. I'm gonna get another girl for Matt, get Rania out of the picture, and get my show back. And Ace, I'm at least at eight. I got legs for days. This is great, Brianna. What better place to get a job than a restaurant where the waitresses recite famous movie lines? Yeah, you don't need us here to hold your hand. This job's perfect for you. Okay, all right, I confess, I don't need you. I needed a ride because I ran out of gas. <laughs> all right, ladies, before we start, I've got great news. My divorce is final. <laughs> you know, I am the one doing the hiring. But seriously, corporate has decided to use one of our waitresses for a national commercial. So if you get the job, you might also become a star. Okay, now I need your support. This is more than just making a few dollars. This can launch my acting career. Okay, first up, uh, Lexus Mercedes Beamer. 
Get in gear, girl. <laughs> you get it? Gear, car names. It's a joke, people. All of my poor life, I had to fight, okay? And little Sophia wasn't even safe in a house full of men folk. But I had not never thought that as a grown woman, I would have to fight in my own house. Wow, she is really horrible. I mean, really, really, really horrible. Brilliant. You're hired. They liked her? Oh, quick on this. They may be looking for singers. They might as well just hand me this commercial right now. Uh, Brianna Barnes. Oh, girl. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brianna Barnes. Yeah, I know. That was me that just read your name. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. All right, then. Um, here I go. Oh, my God. Thank poor... you. Hey, we'll call you. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. He wouldn't even let me finish. <laughs> I can't believe he would hire all those women over me. What do they have that I don't have? Cute <laughs> uniforms. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, not that I'm looking, but uh, I think it starts with big and ends with oobies. <laughs> Makeup, take care of our star, please. <laughs> you know, I saw that. It's gonna let you shine on TV. <laughs> you got to do something. You talked to Matt yet? I haven't had a chance yet. Ronnie's been all over him like a virus, giving him a case of the Croatian cooties. <laughs> But I've got the cure. Uh, hey, Matt, a minute. Uh, yeah, listen, uh, me and the fellas are gonna hang out tonight and we need a white guy and a crew just in case the car breaks down and we gotta catch a cab. So you wanna roll? <laughs> no, 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 no. I've been through this before. You just want me to pay for the beer, don't you? <laughs> no, we just thought it would be cool to have you as part of our crew. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I've never been part of a crew. <laughs> Although I was coxswain in college for the Harvard rowing team. Oh. Of course, that was just because I owned a megaphone. <laughs> Whatever. So are you in? I don't know. I'm going to have to check with Ronnie. Oh. You know what? I guess you're not the player that I thought you were. And the fellow's going to be real disappointed. We were looking for a rich white coxswain. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. So wait a minute. You know what? Maybe you're right. I suppose one night rolling with the brothers is in order. Uh, I mean, after all, the Mat Man has to get out of his 10,000 square foot cave now and then. Uh huh. And he doesn't need to ask permission because he is king. What? Of his castle. Yeah. <laughs> Brianna, what are you doing back there? The girl formerly known as Brianna does not live here anymore. You have to call for Pammy Lee. <laughs> Wow! Come over here, girl, give me a hug. Brianna, you went into that bedroom a respectable young woman and you came out a flotation device. <laughs> girl, you saw what was happening at that restaurant? They don't want girls like me, they want girls like Pammy. <laughs> That's why I set up an audition for her and her friends. <laughs> I bought these balls at a toy store. But look, if I adjust them just right, and in a go. <laughs> I can't believe you're falling into this I'm not good enough trap. Love thy body, love thyself. That's easy for you to say. You've been wearing a bra since the second grade. <laughs> Look, things like this don't happen here in Baltimore. I mean, I could be in a national commercial. I could be like the next, can you hear me now, God? <laughs> this is what actresses do to get work. I didn't make the rules. Well, I think you're overreacting, Brianna, and fake boobs are not gonna get you that job. <laughs> Hi, I'm... Hired. <laughs> Pammy, you start tonight. Oh. <laughs> the tiger you could never outfight Santino. He's a pimp. But I didn't know until yesterday 
that it was Barzini all along. <laughs> saw you doing your thing, and you are a really good actress. I mean, you remember the words and everything. Thank you, but I don't think that table noticed my acting ability. I know what you mean. Okay, I've been tripping over my lines all night, and I'm, like, racking in the tips. I must be, like, a really good actress or something. Pammy, I've been paying attention, and you've got God-given talent. Really? You think I'm good? As a matter of fact, I think you've got the inside track for the commercial. <laughs> Dwayne, thanks again for the great play gear. It's not often I can wear it right off the rack. <laughs> no problem. Just try not to sweat in it. I'm planning on wearing it tomorrow. Flex, this is the most fun I've had in 10 years. Like getting pulled over was great. I mean, profiling is no joke. Yeah, yeah, good, good cover saying you just signed us to a record deal. That was, that was smooth. Gentlemen, welcome to dinner and a movie. It's table for four with uh, two booster seats. <laughs> right this way. Yeah, we might not need to hit the club. There's plenty of hot women here. Hot women is going to help me get my show back. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, menu looks good. Oh, check it out. Ta-ta-tots. <laughs> yeah, fellas, what's with the pigeon thing? Oh, it's just a little something us hip-hop boys do these days. <laughs> now, see, see, Matt, what we players do once we're at the watering hole is we stake out our prey. Now, which one of these lost little lambs would you like to cull from the herd? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I find it easier to pounce on the sick and the weak. <laughs> That's nice. Ooh. All right, listen, I'm supposed to come over here and recite movie lines, but... I don't remember any, so can y'all just laugh? <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, no one laughs louder than my well-paid television producer friend here. Television producer? You don't say. <laughs> that's, a, that's just something that we hip-hop boys do these days. Uh, well, you know what? I like you. I'm going to bring you guys all back around to drinks and you my phone number. Oh. Oh, and bring some ta ta ta. Life as a player ain't bad, is it? <laughs> Ron, you who? <laughs> Word. <laughs> and when it's all over, if I have to beg, borrow, or steal, I'll never be hungry again. I'll be right back with you, Bill. <laughs> Pammy. Oh. Listen, Mandy's falling behind. I need you to take these ta-ta tots to table three and table six. Oh, and put your shoulders back. Good. <laughs> that is amazing. I never would have thought you were a Trekkie. We're everywhere, baby. Live long and party. What's up? <laughs> All right, here you are, fellas. You're tot. <laughs> Brianna? Hey, Daddy. What do you think you're doing? Well, you, you told me to get a job. Look, no fishnets. Ain't nobody looking at your legs. And what happened? Did you get bit by a mosquito on steroids? Ace, I got to deal with this. You make sure everybody has a good time. You, you coming with me. But, Daddy, I need to no, work. No, no, you got your breast all out like you little Kim. What's wrong with you? Brianna, you can tell me a million times why you did it, but I can't understand why you'd want to alter yourself. Because every girl that got hired had big breasts. Oh, don't use that word. <laughs> okay, big boobs. Oh, okay, big breasts it is. Exactly, Daddy, that's my point. That's why I didn't get hired the first time. And aren't you being a little hypocritical? I don't think your buddies were there for the acting. Uh, well, see, you and Matt wanted to... Never mind, I am grown. <laughs> I just don't get it. First you tell me to get a job, and then you yell at me when I get one? Yeah, but I thought you were gonna get a job where the french fries were supersized, not your chest. Daddy, this job gives me a chance to act, and I might get to be in a commercial because of it. Selling what? D baby, I thought you wanted to be seen as a serious actress. Even successful actresses supersize sometimes. Look at Julia Roberts in that Aaron Bronchitis movie. 
Okay, Julia Roberts didn't win an Oscar for Best Actress because of her cleavage. She won because of her talent. But, Daddy, it's not just movie stars. Half the girls in my school got implants as birthday gifts. You get more when you have more. Baby, you are a beautiful girl. You have to think I'm beautiful. You're my dad. But I don't look like the girls in the magazines. No one looks like the girls in the magazines. The girls in the magazines don't even look like the girls in the magazines. Brianna, <laughs> sweetie, look, you're my baby girl. I made you, and I'm proud of the way you turned out. And I want you to be proud, too. I am, Daddy. But I can't help it if this is what gets girls hired. All right, Brianna, you know what? I know you don't like when I, when I tell you what to do, but you're going to get rid of them breasts. Daddy. Do you want to be remembered for your talent or your ta-ta-tots? <laughs> What are these hangers doing in your closet when I told you I don't want them in here ever? I work and I work until I'm about to fall. And what do I get? An ungrateful daughter who doesn't care about the beautiful things that I give her or about me. No more wire hangers. I heard the whole thing, kiddo, and you were marvelous. I'm gonna tell the boys upstairs that I want you for the commercial. What do you say? What do you say? What in the name of Boys Don't Cry happened to you? This is the real me. Do you still want me for your commercial? Uh, well, sweetie, I don't really well, think Well, you know what? You can hold your tongue, you swine. Because I quit. And I will have nothing to do with a place that objectifies women and makes a mockery of the noble profession that I love. Good day, sir. But I think you I said good day. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That wasn't a scene. That was real life. No, I'm serious. All right, fine. Keep clapping. I'm just too good. Matt, player, there you are. <laughs> so how did it go last night? Uh, you and that waitress Mandy hook up? You know, I haven't seen a woman that crazy for a man since, well, uh, my last date. <laughs> she was loving the Matt, man. Uh, so uh, when are you two going out? Never. <laughs> she said the first Star Trek movie was better than The Wrath of Khan. She's dead to me. <laughs> oh, well, you know, we'll just get out and unleash the Matt man again. <laughs> Thanks, but no thanks, Flex. Listen, taking me to that restaurant last night, meeting all those hot chicks, mm. and your daughter, <laughs> made me realize all women are hiding something. With Rania, at least I know what I have. Matt, but do you want to spend your life being her whipping boy? God, I hope so. <laughs> Look, if you're feeling Rania, who am I to try to step in and, and, and save you? but I just can't sit there and let her steal my show. Like, I know she's good for the ratings, but I am the heart and soul of the Flex Files. Without me, there is no flat app. Flex, I hear you loud and clear. I'm a businessman, and I'm gonna do what is best for this show. I mean, after all, after last night, you and me are boys. We're homies. I got your back. Let's what is this phone number I found in your jacket? Uh, the, um... Uh, uh, Matt, it, it, isn't that the number for the jeweler? Uh, you know, the one that's uh, making the diamond pendant. Uh, bracelet? Uh, necklace? Oh, I love you so much! <laughs> Hi, I'm Flex Washington of the Flex Files, and this is my co-host, Rania Roshenko. Whether it's baseball, football, or basketball, nobody knows sports balls. Like me, Flex Washington of the Flex Files. Flat app. <laughs> Matt, you ruined my promo. Yeah, you didn't take my note about the clear heels. I'm sorry, sweetie, and big guy. But I had to do what was best for the show. Matt, are you defying me? 
Yeah, yeah, that's right. How do you like that? I don't like it. I love it. I haven't been this hot since my summer in Chernobyl. <laughs> Well, Flex, you can't say you didn't try. What are you talking about, man? I got my promo back. I won. <laughs> right, right. And I got the clear heels. Love you too, Netta.